guys we are still on on those state gubernatorial election that will take place on the 10th of october 2020 and i have a very interesting story for you the deputy governor of Ondo State, Agbola Ajahi, wasn't given tickets to run for governorship in the All Progressive Congress, and so he defected to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Unfortunately, he was also denied tickets to contest for governorship under the People's Democratic Party, and so he moved on to Zen Labour Party, where he was given tickets to contest for governorship, which he is actually doing now. And it seems as if the people love him and they are going to vote for him. Also, the former governor of Ondo State, the person of Olushegun Mimiko, is also in support of Agbola Ajayi in the Zenith Labour Party. So, guys. Let's see how he started this journey from the APC to the PDP and now to Zenith Labour Party. Stay with me. The Ondo State Deputy Governor Agbola Ajayi on Sunday 21st of June 2020 announced his resignation from the ruling All Progressive Congress APC to contest against his Former boss, Governor Rotimi Akeredulu, in the People's Democratic Party, ahead of the October 10 governorship election in the state. Ajayi's resignation came days after speculation that he was planning to leave the APC and join PDP to contest against Governor Rotimi Akeredulu, having come from Ondo South Senatorial District, which some political analysts in the state believe should produce next governor made the most marginalized senatorial district of the state with central and north senatorial districts constantly rotating governorship between each other. According to report, a melodrama was staged on Saturday night 20th of June at the Alagbaka government house in Akure when the deputy governor was restrained from going out of the government house by the state commissioner of police Bolaji Salami and his team. It was believed that the police was working with directives of Governor Rotimi Akeredulu. Agbola Ajayi went tendering his resignation letter at the APC Secretariat in Akpoi Ward 2, a Seodo local government area of the state. Ajayi said though he had left the APC, he is still the state deputy governor, saying he would not resign his position. While announcing his return to the People's Democratic Party PDP at the party secretariat in the same ward, Ajayi said everybody all over the world knows why he left APC and they also know what happened again to him at the government house the night he was restrained from going out. But he said he is a man of peace. The deputy governor was received by the ward chairman of the PDP in Akoi Ward 2, Festus Oboro, alongside party chieftains and the entire members of the party. Oboro, while presenting membership card to the deputy governor, said his return to PDP would further strengthen the party ahead of the October 10th governorship election in the state. In just less than two months after joining the party, Ajayi Agbola, the deputy governor of Ondo State, resigned from the People's Democratic Party on Sunday 9th of August 2020 after he lost the bid to secure the PDP governorship ticket during the primary elections. The deputy governor handed over his letter of resignation to Festus Oboro, chairman of PDP Akoi Ward 2 of Esheodo local government area of the state. Mr. Ellen Showery, media aide to the deputy governor, confirmed the resignation of Ajayi through a statement on Monday 10th of August 2020, which says the deputy governor appreciates the national leader and members of the party for their warm reception and acceptance in the short period he joined the party. Report gathered said that Deputy Governor was set to officially join Zenith Labour Party, where he was assured of the party's ticket to contest in the October 10, 2020 governorship election in the state. It was also reported that Ajayi had been meeting with the immediate past governor of the state, Olushegun Mimiko, who is a major financier of the Zenith Labour Party. 
Agbola Ajayi, Deputy Governor of Undo State on Friday 14th of August 2020, officially defected to the Zenith Labour Party from the People's Democratic Party. Ajayi was received into Zenith Labour Party by the party's state chairman, Mr. Joseph Akinlaja in Akure, the state capital. He was welcomed by the immediate past governor of Ondo State, Olushegu Mimiko, during a ceremony to welcome him into the party. Speaking at the event, Ajayi said his decision to join the Zenith Labour Party was as a result of the fallout in the primaries of both People's Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress. Ajayi described the Zenith Labour Party as a dependable platform to rescue the people of the state from the hands of the current government of APC in the state. The deputy governor also asked his supporters to join him in the Zenith Labour Party, noting that there was need to change and take it back from the nepotism administration of Governor Akeridulu. The chairman of the party, Mr. Akinlaja, said Zenith Labour Party was the third force that would win the governorship election, but pleaded with supporters of the party, especially the youth, to shun thuggery and violence. He called on the Independent National Electoral Commission to be fair, free and transparent in the conduct of the election. Ex-lawmakers Kansin Olerenwaju and Olumide Araoyibo led some members from the PDP and APC to the Zenith Labour Party. The previous candidate of the Zenith Labour Party, Rotimi Benjamin, has explained his reasons for submitting his governorship ticket, which he secured in the party's primaries to the deputy governor of Ondo State, Agbola Ajayi. On Saturday 15th of August, Rotimi Benjamin said he was not forced to relinquish the ticket that he voluntarily submitted to the will of the party. He also expressed the hope that Ajayi had come into the party with a manifesto that is people-oriented.